Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. In this short video, I am showing you how I power my minivan camper conversion using my three different portable power stations. And we are going to jump right in. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. So I have the main three brands of portable power stations. I have my Bluetti EB70S, which is about 800 watts. I have my Rock Pals 300 in the middle, which is 300 watts. And I have my Jackery 240 Explorer, which was my very first power station when I started van life. And that is uh, 240 watts. So I've really been blessed and I'm so grateful that I've had the opportunity to use these three main brands. And I will tell you right now, that I rank the Bluetti number one, the Jackery number two, and the Rock Pals number three. I'm going to talk a little bit about each one and how I use them. So my Bluetti EB70S, of course, is my biggest power station. I love the Bluetti. I love how fast it charges and how reliable it is. I use my Bluetti strictly to run my Alpacool 20 liter fridge. I generally just dedicate my Bluetti to my fridge because it's my biggest power station. So I will show you in a little bit where I put my Bluetti and how I set it up. My Rock Pals 300 is of course 300 watts. What I don't like about the Rock Pals is kind of a lot of things. I don't like that I have to push and hold the buttons to turn them on, unlike the Bluetti and the Jackery, which are instant. It's actually a really big pain in the butt uh, on this Rock Pals. Um, and furthermore, I have one of the old models, so I literally can't charge the power station while I'm using it, which is why I rank the Rock Pals number three on my list. So I use my Bluetti to power my fridge. I use my Rock Pals strictly as a backup if I run out of power. And then my Jackery 240 I use to power my USB light at night and charge my phone and my tablet. So I use it for little things and I really love how lightweight the Jackery is, the 240. I think it's really beneficial to have a small portable power station that you can put on a table or bring kind of anywhere. So now I will show you where they are set up in my van. I keep my Bluetti EB70S on my passenger seat floor. So I run my fridge from the back. It's not sitting here right now, obviously. I need to vacuum my van. That's why my fridge is not inside of it. But I just run the cord um, through the passenger seat so it's plugged into my Bluetti. And then I have it typically charging via the 12 volt. And I keep all of my cords underneath my passenger seat. So I charge my Bluetti either with my PV200 solar panel or I charge it with the 12 volt charger, which is extremely efficient when I'm driving. So I have all the cords that I need under here for my Jackery, my Rock Pals, and my Bluetti. This is how I travel with my small portable power stations. I have my Jackery against my shelf and then my Rock Pals is sitting right here. So what I do is I charge my Jackery via my van by plugging it in here. Yeah, don't, don't mind all of Winston's hair. Like I said, I still need to vacuum after my five week trip. And then the Dodge Grand Caravan has all these plugs back here. So my Jackery charges via my van and I can do the same thing with my Rock Pals. So I use my Jackery so frequently for my small devices so I can charge it and also charge my devices while it's sitting here. And the same thing with my Rock Pals. Um, on my trip, I used it to run my white Walmart fan. It died overnight, so I was just able to charge it via my van when I was driving the next day. Somebody did ask me how my Jackery is holding up because apparently Jackery tells you you're not supposed to charge your power station while using it. Well, I've been doing that for two years and it still runs fantastic. So I charge my Jackery while using it uh, with no problems. And I 
can charge the Jackery also and the Rock Pals via my solar panels. So whatever works for me. So just to recap, this is my Bluetti EB70S that I keep on my passenger seat floor and it runs my Alpacool 20 liter fridge a majority of the time. It's very rare I have something else plugged into it, even though I can use it for a variety of things. I just treated three neighborhood kids to ice cream from the ice cream truck and I feel really good. So that was awesome. So my Jackery 240 gets charged by my van and I charge small things like my fan, my phone, and my tablet on it. And then my Rock Pals, I can charge it again with my van or solar. I can charge any of my portable power stations with solar, but I use my Rock Pals strictly as a backup if I'm running low on power. Uh, maybe there's rain, maybe there's you know not enough sun for my solar panels, maybe I'm not driving, so I can use that as a backup. But in the meantime, I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, be sure to drop a comment, like this video, and subscribe. We will see you next time.